Hey guys, I wanted to share with you today about my MCAT journey and uh, my experience with Jack Weston's course. So, um, I have a long history with the MCAT. I have taken it a total of three times and um, the first two times I got the same exact score. So I took it back to back in one summer terrible idea. I really hope none of you make the same mistake I do. I did and if you did it's fine because you know you there you have a chance to improve you know so um, I took it two times back to back in one summer and I got a 498 both times with a 124 in cars and then a 123 for my second time. So that really freaked me out because not only was my cars bad, but it got worse. So I was like, oh my gosh, you know, what am I doing wrong? And obviously a lot of things, but uh, for one, I wasn't practicing the right way. I was just taking, you know, whatever passages I could find from any company and trying to do as many as I could. And the interesting thing about like MCAT cars is that none of the other companies get it right. They don't know how the AAMC thinks. So what you're basically doing is you're kind of just playing with whatever and then, you know, you're you're practicing in a way where yeah, you might get better at reading or you might get better at, you know, your timing, but it's not really going to help you on test day if you don't know how to think how the MCAT test writers think. So that's where Jack comes in because Jack knows it's like it's like having a, an MCAT writer as your tutor. I'm serious. Um, and this is something that I can say after I've taken the course. I wasn't sure, you know, I I knew he was amazing like before I took the course, but you know, those were all off of like, you know, online reading things online from people I didn't really know. So I just I still felt like, you know, I was taking a leap of faith. By signing up for his course because I was just desperate honestly like I needed to make a really big comeback for my third attempt and that was not gonna be possible with the way the path that I was on you know with the MCAT uh, before it just wasn't gonna happen because I was doing everything under the Sun any MCAT book that you can see on Amazon like I have it <laughs> so um, and I've used it and um, I did, you know, after continuing to study for the MCAT, like I did see like increases in my score from 498, but nothing drastic enough where I felt, okay, you know, I'm ready for a third attempt. I've improved a lot. So um, I took a few months off, like I took a break from the MCAT. And then when I was ready to get back into it, I found Jack and I read all, I read up on him. I watched the videos and uh, I wasn't really like, convinced to take the course because I until I took the trial session because I had already spent so much time money and energy into buying other things that um, I was like okay if I'm going to put more money into this money I don't have like it better be good um, and I wasn't I wasn't sure because nothing else helped me prior but then once I took the trial session even from the trial session uh, I learned so much honestly like spending one hour with Jack was amazing um, and I really felt like I could benefit from it I just felt like a re re renowned confidence with the MCAT and it's really hard to have confidence with the MCAT after uh, doing terrible two times um, and then having to take it a third time and knowing that that third time has to be amazing um that's a lot of pressure and it, it's a very scary thing and uh you need to have a lot of confidence and a lot of you know strength to pull through with that and so i took the trial session and i was sold i was immediately like this is going to work for me because it's it it instantaneously felt like i was having an MCAT writer as my tutor and he knew everything like inside out about the exam like he can tell you like why they're going to ask that what they're going to ask like what the answer choices are going to be or how to think like how to exactly how to pick apart those tough answer choices because what was happening to me in cars is 
most of the time I could eliminate it down to two, but I always had trouble picking between those two. And so after the course, you're going to feel this ease. You're going to feel like, yes, that's it. That's it. Like you're going to, on test day, you're going to be picking the right answer and you're going to be confident about it. Um, you know, for the most part, I think, I think that's really how I felt on my test day. So my test day for my third attempt went so much better. Um, I got a 518, so I had a 20 point jump and I had a 129 in my cars. So that was amazing. That was the 95th percentile and I think I was in the 30th percentile in cars before. Um, and I credit it completely to Jack's course because I just did everything he said. I attended all of his lectures. So that's the one thing, like you can't just sign up for the course and expect it to work a miracle for you, like how it did for me. Uh, you have to attend all of his lectures and pay attention to what he says. And uh, what I liked about his lectures though were he's really <laughs> fun and captivating and entertaining to listen to. Like I was, I found myself a lot of times like really enjoying and like, you know, laughing and, you know, having a good time during class, but also learning. Um, and it was a very small, like, intimate, interactive environment. Like, I felt like I was getting a lot of attention um, just because, you know, I participated a lot. I volunteered to answer questions a lot. Um, you know, he'll, he'll pick on you to answer questions. So in every class that you take with him, you'll be talking, you'll be typing, you'll be, you know, really interacting with him, you know, as well as your peers. It was a very fun, interactive environment for me. Like... The four hours went by and it felt like, what, oh, I just got here, you know, like it was, it just felt so fast and fun, but I also learned a lot. So, um, it was great for emotional support too, because as I said, I struggled with the component of, am I going to feel ready? Am I going to be good enough for this exam? Am I, am I good? You know, like, is, is am I going to do well? Like, so he helps you cope a lot emotionally with the exam as well. Um, things he'll say things he'll do or things he'll um, recommend every single class, like it really lifted me up. Like it gave me a newfound motivation. So every week attending that class and multiple times a week being in workshop with him, it just felt like I had someone to go to for like, you know, to keep, not only to keep me accountable for studying, but also, you know, as uh, for regular emotional and, you know, motivational support. So, and he's always there for you. Like if you need to talk with him extra after class, he'll stay as long as you need to. If you want to talk to him about like anything and everything, he'll talk to you about it. And he'll help you with your MCAT problems. Um, you know, if you're like struggling with your study schedule, he'll help you plan it out. Um, and he'll help you with anything. You can email him or call him and he's very open and responsive, which I really liked. Um, and yeah, if you go to his class, you do his homework, you have to do his homework and his homework will take you, you know, a, a couple hours every day. So if you stay diligent, you're basically hiring like, you know, the best like personal trainer for the MCAT. So you have to, don't waste your time and money if you're not going to do what he says. So um, stick with it, do the homework, go to class and really make sure you're following the strategy and practicing the strategy um and you'll you'll do amazing on the mcat and i really wish you luck and um i wish you all the best so uh hopefully you uh you know can have that feeling of conquering the mcat and getting over that obstacle and i'm sure you will so thank you bye